Welcome to another episode of Fish with Mikey TV. And today we are rock fishing. So I haven't uploaded a long video a while, eh, a video in quite a while. Um, I did make a video and I was trying to upload it, but it was taking, it took, I think it was three hours to download it off my camera to my iPod. And um, I left it and then my iPod hibernated and it didn't work. And then I tried to do it with my mum's phone to try and just get it to work so I could drop, airdrop it over to my iPod and it just it was taking so long we just gave up on it so hopefully I'll get that video sorted soon um, when I've got time I'll change all of my settings and everything on my iPad and then just leave my iPad going because that's just so much easier because I don't use my iPod so, pad so much so today we are rock fishing again which that video will be of rock fishing I should upload this um, hopefully by next week I'll have this uploaded I want to try and upload a video one video every week or so maybe like two or three videos every week just just want to upload it as regular as I can it's hard because I do a lot of um, where I am at the moment I do a lot of videos here and just teach you tips on rock fishing and stuff so um, until I move to um, and I'll do some beach fishing and stuff and just try and catch some different types of fish um, at the moment which will probably be flounder and stuff at the moment we're just here rock fishing it's one of my favourite types of fishing, I've caught loads of fish this way, so we're just going to be here and see what we can catch. Sorry about the wind guys, um, I'm not sure how loud I'm talking because the wind is quite strong, I can't really hear myself very easily, so I'm really sorry about the wind problem. If it's too bad in the video, then I will just drop the volume right off and then just do a commentary over the top and tell you what I was saying. Um, so yeah, let's get going. But that's not always the case, it's that fish I just caught now. Um, or almost caught um, I just literally put it downwards I'm just going to walk back actually because I forgot my net and if I have a fish I can't do what I did last time because I am not losing another fish so I'm just going to grab my net just drop my lure in the water there next to where my net and everything is put this on the shoulder And like, I literally just jigged it. Scorpion fish. Thought so, rock fish. No, actually this is a rock fish. Um, but anyway, nice little fish. Maybe I'll get my pliers as well. T take the hooks out of the mouth. Oh, I hope I haven't forgotten them. Yep, I forgot my um, grips, so we're just going to have to do this by hand. You have to be careful. Uh, normally I don't do this with this thing, but um, as I haven't got my pliers, I don't want to... Their mouth is so small, it's ridiculous, I can't get my thumb in that. Um, In most countries, these aren't poisonous, but um, in tropical climate countries such as Japan and uh, Brazil and stuff, they are poisonous. So just be careful, guys. I don't think that one is actually poisonous, but um, most of them are. Two different most types of lures that I one I bought for this, and the other one I just had, which I use for other stuff. I actually use it for bass fishing mainly. Um, but now I've caught a rockfish on it as well.
Guys, I've just hooked another one. I'm going to let it run because I don't want to lose this one. Um, but keeping the line tight always. It's a really good fish. Well, not, not, it's not as big as the last one, but I'll tell you what, it's still a nice fish. I'm just going to keep the rod out, keep the drag on, let it pull when he wants to pull. I think the last one might have gone under rocks. And that's why it came out. But, um, sorry guys, just turned off my video accidentally. Um, so, my rod is actually quite struggling a little bit. It's a really nice fish. I'm just gonna get the net out. Always keeping the rod as tight as I can. Yeah, black sea bream, guys. Beautiful black sea bream. Just gotta get it. Let him pull a little bit. Just let him play around. Just play around with this guy. He's right underneath me now. It's a bad place. It's not always easy one man fishing, you know. You can't you ain't got anyone to um, net your fish for you. So you've got to try and do it yourself. I missed him. I've got to try and get over here. If I can get him over here, I can net the fish. Yes! Let's go! Come on! That's a lovely fish. It was really heavy. A beautiful, beautiful black sea bream. Number two to my list of big ones. Guys, look at this fish. Literally, it is, I'm just. I'm so relieved and happy I've got it. Look at the size of this fish. He's heavier than my last one. I just can't wait to release this guy. I swear, I think it's female. Um, as now I believe, the other day I caught a very big um, rockfish make sure I don't damage my net on the stone as it's carbon fiber it will but um, yeah this is, it's, it's guys just just look at that beauty he is beautiful we're just gonna I'm so happy I got that on video um, it just make it really makes me really happy when I get things on video I believe it's female it's um, I think it's um, thingy tie. Um, what's it called now? Um, season, like breeding season and whatever and whatnot. Um, so we're just going to release him. Normally I take it back to my friend, but he's not in today. He really like he likes eating this fish, so I'm just going to release him. Apparently it's a very expensive fish, but who knows. We're just being really careful letting him down because it's on the tarmac and I don't want to hurt it. First, and then what we, the first thing we're going to do is hook him, get him with my um, 
Rippers. And then we're going to hook and try and unhook it. Without getting bitten. They have, I'll show you inside the mouths, and you, um, for bass fishing you'll be able to see what I mean. They eat raw, um, they obviously eat crawfish and like that sort of thing. Can't believe I forgot my pliers. That would have hurt if my hand was in there. Would you stop that, please? Why'd you keep doing that, bud? Okay, this, these fish are sometimes very hard to... Um, oh, got that stuck in my release. Um, we're just going to try and... Yeah, it's a female, I believe. hooks out. Guys, look at the size of this fish. It's like the, the size of a 20 pound bass. It's huge. I'm just going to take a few selfies with this fish and um, get a weight on him. So for, actually first we get the weight on him and um, then some selfies which I'll put at the end of this video. Okay, so first we'll weigh, we'll put the fish down for a minute. Hopefully he doesn't flap around and get hurt. Um, just to read because we need to calibrate my scales um, as I've got my gripper on um, so we're just going to calibrate the scales see now it's one point can't it's a bit high now okay so now my scales are 1.4 at the moment don't know if you can see they're um, the moment they're 1.4 so we're just going to power Okay, now they're set to zero, so we're just going to hook her up, grip her. Don't, we don't want her to, like, suffer or anything. Okay, this is a smaller fish than I caught last time. The fish is... 0 0.95 Get another pit view on the fish I'm going to take a couple selfies with it To prove that I've caught this big fish For when I go home to show everyone So now we're going to release this beauty just don't want to, we just come around here, around the other end, because I don't want to drop her on the barbed wire. So we're just going to drop her down. I'm sorry to all of my um, friends who want to eat this fish. Um, I want to release it. He's not very, um, you know, good. But um, I don't have anyone to give it to. As you see, the belly is like huge on this fish. That's why I'm guessing it's pregnant. Not pregnant, but you know, having babies, whatever you want to say. Um, so we just get the release. Bye bye little fishy, thank you very much.
okay. She's just swimming. She's getting, she's reviving herself. Hopefully. Good thing is the water is rough, so she'll be able to flick around and just get her revived. As I can't really revive a fish from this height. If not, I'm just going to grab my net in case. Nope, she seems okay. She's swimming off. So we're just going to see if we can catch another one from this end. <coughs> I'm so happy I got that fish. I've been like waiting for the past like since I came to catch a big fish and I caught one last week and I've caught another one and now I know how to catch them so I know what I'm doing that was really nice the way I caught it I saw it coming and I didn't think I was going to get it because it just didn't look like it was going to take it and then all of a sudden it just took it They're all in the river. This river here, there's thousands of rock, um, of these black sea bream. They're literally everywhere and it's really strange. Um, I know someone who's caught loads of them on bait, but no one has caught them on lures. I'm the first person he, um, 